Whether you are a Pokemon collector or investor, this news is going to be a little bit relevant to you and you guys are going to want to pay attention to this. Some interesting stuff is going on with 151 if you haven't been paying attention. And something that I find very interesting, we're going to just take a look at uh, some sealed product. Not really as much of the singles today. It's just some interesting stuff going on. So this is the booster bundle display, which is 10 booster bundles. If you're not familiar, a booster bundle has six packs. So 10 times six, 60 packs. So yeah, you can get these displayed, these displays sealed. And this is currently what they're going for on TCG player, about 500 bucks, just under 500. What's very interesting about this is there's been a lot of people that have been able to pick up these sealed booster bundle displays, including myself. I'm going to tell you what's been going on with them, right? So if we look at this price point right here, this is pre-release of last year. We are, if you exclude this, we are at its all-time high for booster bundle displays. And there's a ton of them coming onto the market currently. And we haven't seen the price really drop, which I think we're going to see. It's kind of going to be inevitable. People are getting these and they're going to be unloading them at some point. But if we look at the booster bundles, the booster bundles are also like readily available. Some people are getting booster bundle displays. Some people are getting just booster bundles. Some people are getting uh, booster bundle displays, but they're open. We're going to touch on all that. But not that long ago, these were 50 bucks. August 18th through 20th, $51.60. They've came down to around 43 and kind of stabilized, which has surprised me because you'd think more people um, were getting the bundles than the, the displays. And you would think that these would be coming down a little bit more. And it will be interesting to see where this stuff bottoms out. It kind of seems like it's a pretty decently sized restock. Uh, and that might be the debate. Restock, re is this the start of a reprint? We'll, we'll address that later in the video. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, so stay tuned for that. So 151 is doing crazy things. We're just going to take a, a brief look at the singles. Not a ton has moved single-wise since my last video on 151. So we're not really going to touch on it too much. You guys can just see the prices, 126, 52, yeah, 39. It seems like a lot of the times uh, with cards, with boxes, they do a stair-stepped approach. They come up, they go down, but then they come up and they come down. Uh, it looks like the cards are, they came up and they're coming down a little. So are we going to see another stair step up? That is yet to be seen. I'm surprised that these prices aren't going down more for the reason of all of these booster bundle displays. There was the, uh, the poster, yeah, the poster collection, right? That got restocked at like Dollar General and Target. And what I'm seeing a lot of uh, online, on Reddit, in my Discord... People are ripping these packs. I I ripped seven booster bundles and had a great run. Pulled the Charizard. It was... And the Venusaur. It was amazing. So a lot of people are ripping these because they're trying to complete their sets. So what you would... You'd think you would start to see is these single prices start to tank, but we're just not seeing it, them tank. They're on a little bit of a drop right now, but they're not tanking. So it's very interesting. As of... This is Tuesday, September 10th the uh, recording of this video. It's around 11.40 a.m. Pacific time. And currently, another thing that just popped in, this is the Pokemon Center website. We got the Meowth and Hitmonchan tins just came back into stock. You could purchase these with the purchase limit of 10. So this is MSRP on this product. So interesting there, that is 151 is available. Something very interesting right here. This is Best Buy. These are the booster bundles. Now, I believe these have a limit of three, but as of this time, like I said, of this recording, these are available to purchase. So 151, and this is, I think this is the technical MSRP. I don't know. Either it's this is cheaper than normal. I think this is the technical MSRP, $26.94. Uh, but on Walmart and Amazon, they were like 28 something, right? So anyways, we're splitting hairs with the prices there. But the point of this video is, 151 is coming pretty decently back into stock and it, we've seen 
Best Buy now, Walmart, Amazon, Pokemon Center. So the Pokemon Center also had um, the booster bundles just a little while ago in stock with a purchase limit of 25. Now, the odds of you getting a booster bundle display from that are probably pretty slim. I don't think the Pokemon Center is going to do that. Or if they do, it's gonna they're going to ship it open. They tend to do stuff like that. So that's the Pokemon Center. It's just we're getting a lot of product available, which is great. It's great for the demand for this product is absolutely insane. If you're watching this channel and you're new, this is probably the set that brought you in. We just ran a poll on the channel. Most people came in because of 151, and it makes sense, right? Um... I'm going to show you guys next a few pictures from the Discord from a few users. They're going to show uh, some of their purchases. So just to kind of show you, uh, you know, what's going on. So I don't, I don't have the usernames on here, so I do apologize. Um, but as you can see, we got a sealed booster bundle display. I don't know who this, who this user was. I just took a, a few of the pictures. There's quite a few of them getting shared. So sealed booster bundle display. So big win there. Next up, we have. Oh, I know who this is. Uh, he's got his black cat. Three sealed booster bundle displays. These ones were Amazon, I believe. Yes. So this was an Amazon shipment that came in. Then next up, so we got another person who got two sealed displays and loose booster bundle. I believe this was... I don't, I don't remember which one this one is. It could have been Amazon or Walmart. And then we got another person who got... They ordered 12 which I believe this was the Walmart one, because uh, they had a purchase limit of 12. They got a booster bundle display, but it was open, and two loose booster bundles. So, yeah, that's what's been happening. It's It really varies. And then here's another person who just had some loose uh, booster bundles there. So there has been a, uh, a lot of product coming onto the market, like I've been saying, and... I managed to get a sealed booster bundle display. This one came from Walmart. The first, it was the first restock, the first one that we were getting. And I was able to get that because of the wonderful people in the Discord server. If you guys want to join, there is a link in the description. It's free to join. There's buy, sell, trade. There's uh, restock links, um, tons of stuff. It's a great little community. Uh, we just cracked 400 people, so if you guys want to stay up to date so you can get like notifications on your phone when stuff comes in stock, um, that's probably the best way. So, 151. It's I've been covering it a lot because it's extremely popular, uh, and what is going on? We've we've talked about reprint restock before, right? And there's a few things that you guys need to understand as far as the restock reprint thing. Now, it's understood that there's kind of two distribution channels for from the Pokemon company, right? The first one goes to the big box stores and it's kind of totally separate, right? Your Walmarts, your Targets. Um, I don't know if Amazon's included in that. I would assume it would be um, just online only, but so that's its own distribution. And then you have your smaller distribution, which is your distributors, as it's called. Those uh, are the ones that stock your LGSs, right? Your local game store. Smaller stuff like that. Um, some online retailers have access to uh, distributors as well. It was a lot easier to get distributors before COVID uh, as an online business. Now it's, I guess it's supposedly becoming easier, but still hard. So if those are different things... And the big box store side of it is getting a decent amount of 151 in. It looks like it's probably a restock, but it begs me to ask this question and just think about this. Why would the Pokemon company have been sitting on this product for this long to get it out to these big box retailers? That just seems a little odd to me. I don't know why they would have sat on it for quite so long, and I don't think Amazon and Walmart and Best Buy were sitting on this product themselves and just waiting because they want to make money, right? And having stuff take up space in a warehouse costs money. So restock, reprint, th there is a scenario, I'm not saying that this is a f certain thing, but there is a scenario that this could be, they could have already started to reprint the set 
and we just haven't seen that from the distributor side, which would be your LGSs. Um, we just don't know. Like I said, I think that it kind of seems like this is a restock, a pretty good restock though, but it, it's it's tough to tell because when these things come in stock, they don't, they just don't last very long, and that's part of due just to the demand of 151. It's literally insane. So many people are trying to master set it, and I think part of part of what's going on also with the singles is just that the the singles are being hoarded at a rate that we've never seen from any other set because I still say that this is the most master setted set ever ever and I stand by that we don't really have the there's no way for us to know that for sure but that's just based off of like I said what I'm seeing in comments discord reddit card shows um, yeah like to mention the discord again there's so many people trying to finish their 151 master sets. Um, there was people trading. We would, um, I did a trade with somebody in the Discord. Sent them some cards that I had. They're sending me some cards that I needed. So we got, like, it's just crazy what's going on. So um, the singles are holding strong. The sealed is still staying good. And if this, this is what's wild, guys. So think about this. If this is not a reprint, and this is just a restock, which is kind of what I think at this point. Maybe larger restock? I don't know. But if if it's not a reprint, what's a reprint going to look like? Because I don't see a world currently in which English 151 does not get a reprint. I There's just no way. And it might not be this year. It might not be this holiday season, although that would be a great time. It could be next year. And I think if I had to guess for which, which product would get reprinted because um, for those of you who don't know what a reprint is, they just they just make more. It's not different, it's just the same stuff, right? What can change on a reprint is the print quality of the cards can get better, right? But the products are the same. But they use, they probably won't reprint the UPCs. It My guess would be booster bundles and elite trainer boxes again. Um, maybe with some of the other sets, I don't know, maybe the binder collections, Maybe some other uh, smaller boxes like that. I don't know, like uh, the Alakazam, Zapdos boxes. I don't know. But um, the booster bundles and the ETBs being the uh, the main product. I also said that a while back, quite a while back, I had a sneaking suspicion that the booster bundle displays sealed is going to be the best product for this set. It's going to be kind of like better than... like booster box from a mainline set equivalent uh just a feeling i had so far it's kind of looking that way because it's holding the premium over just the loose booster bundles but we'll see like i said because there's so many more displays coming onto the market now we'll see what's going on with that but yeah um 151 update i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover for the video restock reprint stuff's going crazy um yeah discord people getting the bundles, uh, sealed bundle displays. It's been, um, it's been a wild, wild time. And I will end, I will leave you guys with this. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and this far in the video, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do yourself and myself a favor, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date when I post my latest videos and leave me a comment below. Let, let me know what your guys' theories are on 151 restock or reprint. Are you sick of, uh, also let me know if you guys are sick of me covering 151. I'm trying to like space it out, but there's just so much, um, 151. Uh, I just, I just think it's too relevant to not touch on. So 151's doing 151 things as always. Um, yeah, that, I think that's going to do it. I'll just, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, go Niners. And remember it was never face.